Here we go. Let's turn off the music. All right. What am I going to do? I am about to unbox my new MacBook Air M1 and then set it up. All right. So let me shut off my title and my message. Okay. My name is Adrian Lee from Adrian Video Image. This is a, a live vlog. I'm vlogging right now live and going to unbox my new MacBook Air. Okay, but before I unbox, I would like to mention uh, that this MacBook Air is actually a, a 2020 MacBook Air. Okay, it's, it's released about 10 months ago. All right, so it's going to be a year soon and a new version might be coming out in October. That's what I heard. Okay, so, so why did I buy it? Because my old MacBook Pro has died. Okay, my 2013 MacBook Pro. So why did I buy a MacBook Air instead of a MacBook Pro? Okay, first thing, three, three, three big reasons. Okay, first of all, it's lightweight. MacBook Pro is heavy okay i want it portable I, want, I carry it here and then i want it light weight okay reason number two it's fanless no fan why because i do streaming especially with obs and i, I, and I don't want to attach a microphone i want the onboard mic to pick up my voice so with the macbook pro every time i stream i get a lot of fan noise and then the and then the speaker or the microphone try to remove the noise and therefore compromise the quality of my voice. So with this, there is no fan noise. That's reason number two. Now reason number three. I need, uh, I need a Final Cut Pro. I've been doing editing on Final Cut Pro with my MacBook Pro. Um, so I was contemplating for a long time should I get a MacBook Pro or should I get a MacBook Air but after reading a lot of comments and reviews on YouTube okay really MacBook Air M1 chip with the M1 chip can run Final Cut Pro so therefore I bought it all right so in the next few live stream I'll be testing the quality of uh, of this MacBook Air with okay with Final Cut Pro. So now I'm I'm setting up my comments. Feel free to leave comments. Alright. So oh. feel free to leave comments whether you are on uh, Facebook, YouTube, or Twitch. So I'm gonna see the comments now. Okay. Okay. All right. I've already explained the three reasons why I bought the MacBook Air M1. Then, okay. Um, what what do I want to say? Okay. Next thing is unboxing. Okay. Now let's go here. I'll keep quiet when I'm tearing. I want the ASMR.
I think there's one interesting angle that I can do. All right. Oh no, I'll leave it alone. Okay, so I think I'll do it. I'll do a picture and picture. Yeah, you can see me now. Okay, this is a space gray. Space gray. I have the option of, to choose silver, space gray, and the other one is pink. Okay, this is the USB to US USB C to USB C cable. How long is it? Let's stretch it up and see. Oh, it's kind of tangled up. Yeah. Two meters long. Right, USB C to USB C cable. Let's put this one side. Okay, isn't this exciting? So now let's stick this up. Designed by Apple California. Designed by Apple in California. service card there's one more item inside okay I can't take that out okay now we have okay, a little quick start guide in different languages safety message and a sticker just two stickers space gray right it matches Let's see. yeah space gray This 
is the power plug. Okay, there's nothing else inside here, so I can put this aside now. All right. Yes. So. Is there scratches? No. All right, from here on, I'm about to open to set it up. Okay, I've completely unboxed the MacBook Air M1. Next is setting up. Okay, let me readjust my top cam to point. Stand by. To use English as the main language, press the return key. Okay, from here on, let me clean up some power. No need. Should I do it this way? No, should I do it this way? I'm just concerned about my face. I'm not, you can't see me there. Okay. Right. Probably here. Then you can see me. Yes. Yeah. Okay. So. I will touch this later. I will, I will do a setup first. So I'll bring you close to my my screen.
All right, let's do the setup. So it says English. Yep, let it be English. Press next. Language. Select your country or region. I thought it should be automatic, but no. Let's select. I am in. Where's my country? Singapore. Select. Mac OS contains a built in screen reader called VoiceOver. If you know how to use VoiceOver, press Command F5 now to turn it on and set up your Mac. If you would like to learn how to use VoiceOver to set up your Mac, press the escape key. Oh, no, I'll do that later. Let's do this. Continue. Okay, preferred language. Written and spoken languages. The following languages are commonly used in your region. You can set up your Mac to use these settings or customize them individually. So, preferred language, Singapore English. I hope it's not Singlish. Then input sources, ABC. And uh, dictation, sing English. All right, correct, let's continue. Accessibility. Okay, let's not do that now. Not now. Now to select my Wi-Fi network. Okay, it will be right here, this one. Let me go keep it in my Wi-Fi network. Oh dear, it's not long. Okay, so over here, you look at my face. No, no. Okay. Continue. I hope I've typed it right. still detecting yeah so now it's asking me data and privacy this icon appears when an Apple feature asks to use your personal information you won't see this with every feature since Apple collects this information only when needed okay so this data and privacy yes uh, continue migration assistant uh, how do you want to transfer your information from a Mac time machine backup from a Windows PC. I don't want, so I say not now. I'll select not now. So I don't want to migrate any data. I want to start this MacBook from fresh. So I select not now. Now sign in with your Apple ID. I heard from, no, I, I learned from the Apple store that I can set this up without signing into my Apple ID first. So I will skip that process and just set up later or maybe i should okay, because it's going to be my personal one all right so again i'm going to type in my apple id without you looking at it okay ready uh, that's my email because later i need to Immediately after this, I need to install Final Cut Pro. I'm going to press continue. And then it asks for my password. Typing in my password. And press continue. <laughs> okay, as usual, it's the wrong password. One more time. Continue. Okay, it looks like it's 
Oh, oh, okay. It got in. Sign in with your Apple ID. Let's see, sign in with your Apple ID. Uh, all right, it's here now. Okay, I will say allow. Oh, my Apple, this is... Oh, my Apple, this is Apple ID sign in requested. Your Apple ID is being used to send, sign in to a MacBook Air near Singapore. All right, this is my MacBook Pro. Uh, this is my iPhone 12 Pro Max right now, receiving that message. So I'm going to tap on allow. Okay, then I see a number. Okay, this is not a secret number, but I will type in. Let's say it's... Four eight four five four four. Okay, I'm reading my iPhone 12 Pro Max. Okay, it's loading now. Okay, on my iPhone, I click on OK. Tap on OK so I won't see it anymore. Okay, terms and conditions. All right, it is important that you understand the terms and condition. And uh, Apple Media Services terms and condition. Yes, I have read. Uh, agree. Okay, going in. Really? I've read. Now, uh, account name. Is that my account name? Well, I'll leave it there. Uh, create a computer account. What if, can I skip this? I don't want any, any name. I'll change this to... I'll change this to Adrian. Adrian Lee, let's caps it. Adrian Lee, account name. What is this account name? Okay, let's change this also to Adrian Lee. Uh, password, password, password. Allow my Apple ID re to reset this password. Okay, I'm gonna key in the password. Look at my face again. Dun, 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 dun. Dun, 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 dun. All right, and press continue. And it brings me, it is doing some computation right now, verification. And it's taking some time. All right, I can see that the battery is like 70% uh, full. That means it came 70% charged. I'm not connected to the power socket, power supply yet, not yet. Okay, so now it's running on battery. Okay, I can see the time here. It's not adjusted yet. It's not my local time and day yet. So it's still signing up to the iCloud, setting up account. And yeah, so on Twitch, lost YCSAs. Nice, good choice. Yeah, lost YCS. Thanks for commenting. Okay, so now, uh, find my what is this? It says find my allows you to locate this Mac on a map. Send it messages and remotely lock or erase it. Find My will use the Apple ID. Find My also protects your Mac with activation lock which prevents anyone else from using your Mac if it's uh, if it's ever lost or stolen. Okay, let's do this. Uh, wait, wait. This Mac will be associated with your Apple ID and data such as photos, contacts, documents, and stored in, a, stored in iCloud so you can access them on other devices. Okay, understood? So I'm going to click on continue. Express setup. You have signed into your Apple ID. All right, for iCloud, blah, 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 the features and setting. Okay. All right, so continue. Analytics, share crash. Okay, I will share with you. Continue. Uh, screen time. Screen time. I don't need this. Okay, set up later. 
I'll be using this lots of my time, so don't tell me I've used overuse. Siri, enable ask Siri. So let's do this. Okay, this is gonna be confusing. My iPhone is here right now. So there'll be two series. So I'll leave this alone. I will not activate Siri, otherwise my iPhone Siri will get confused. Okay, continue. Oh, oh never mind, just do it. Set up Hey Siri later. Okay, okay, I'll do it now. Continue. Hey Siri. Hey Siri, open the documents folder. Hey Siri, show my downloads. Hey Siri, what's the weather like? Hey Siri, what does the rest of my day look like? Okay, hey Siri is ready. Siri is will recognize. Siri will recognize my voice whenever I say hey Siri. Hmm, my iPhone didn't respond. That's interesting. I wonder how, oh, wait, okay, continue. Improve Siri detection, uh, dictate, improve Siri and dictation. Helps Apple improve, help Apple improve Siri and dictation by, by allowing Apple to store audio of your Siri and dictation. Okay, okay, a plane is flying past, anyway. The ASMR is over. This data is not associated with your Apple ID and will only be stored for a limited period. Uh, why not? Okay, share audio recordings. Continue. Unless I'm doing something fishy, I will not share. Okay, file vault disk encryption. File vault secures your data by and encrypting the contents of your disk and locking your screen with a password. Would you like to use File Vault to encrypt the disk on your Mac? Turn on File Vault. Allow my card. I think. I don't know what is this. File Vault secures your data by encrypting the contents on your disk and locking your screen with a password. Okay, okay let's, let's not do this now. I want to access it easily. Let's continue. Touch ID. Use your fingerprint to unlock your Mac and make purchases with Apple Pay. Start by placing your fingerprint finger on the thumb or finger or thumb on the touch ID. Okay, where's the touch ID? Okay, it's over here. Let me move back a bit. Okay, this is the touch ID. Ready? Try to. All right. Okay, your fingerprint can be used to unlock your Mac. So I'm gonna tap on continue. Uh, add credit card. No, no. What is this? Add credit, debit, or store cards, and use Apple Pay with Touch ID to make purchases easily and securely, right from your Mac. Um, I don't want to do this now, but I have to press continue. Oh, I think it's forcing me to activate Apple Pay. There is no setup later. Add card. Oh, setup later, yes. Set up later. Now choose your look. So it says select an appearance and see how the dock menus, buttons, and windows adjust depending on which one you choose. Okay, light, dark, auto. Light. Let's remain at the light. So continue. True tone display. See without true tone display. 
boop, boop. Uh, I, I don't want true on this. You can change this later. Your Mac automatically adapts to ambient light condition to make colors appear consistent. No, I hate this. I hate this because whenever I do video, the colors change inaccurately. So see without true tone. I can't change it now. I'll change it later. Tap on continue. Oh, I'm in. Okay, do I have my Final Cut Pro here or do I need to install it? Okay, so I can see. Yep, I have my Keynote numbers and pages. Right, I love Keynote. I use a lot of Keynote. But Final Cut Pro, I guess I have to install it separately. Let's see. Oh, what do I have in here? Blah, 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 blah. All right. Okay, let's go back a bit. All right, my, my iPhone just gave me a message. Your Apple ID is now being used for iMessage and FaceTime on a new Mac. If you recently signed in to your Adrian's MacBook Air, you can ignore this notification. Okay, I'm going to press Okay. Actually, I should show you that screen. Uh, should I show you that screen? Let me see if I can do that. All right. If I can do that. All right, never mind. I won't show you. So, oh, what's next? Next is, let's take a look at the whole screen. If I can just show you my whole laptop. I'm done setting up so I just did okay all right I'm done setting up so I just did three things since the start of this live stream okay I explained and given you the three reasons why I bought a MacBook Air M1 and why I didn't buy a MacBook Pro M1 okay and the second thing I did was to unbox it ASMR style so look back at the unboxing if you're watching this on youtube okay i'm going to leave the timestamps below and the third thing i did was setting it up so right now it's done but uh i will continue just for this show okay before that i want to test something okay this whole live stream is in stereo right now on the left hand side of my microphone and i'm going to my right hand side now right now i am on your right ear i will now okay i am now on your left ear i am now in both ears in the middle of your brain Okay, does this work? Okay, I'm gonna play back and listen. I wonder if live streams are stereo. Okay. Oh, what microphone am I using? The iPhone 12 Pro Max. Okay, so um, to end this, I will go, I will install Final Cut Pro. Okay, let's go to App Store. And I go into uh, what's new on App Store. Let's go. So let's 
going. I will search for Final Cut Pro. Final, Final Cut Pro X. And uh, it's asking me to pay. 299 buy app oh i have to sign into the my app store first okay let's sign into my app store yep we sign in with my id password okay password tap on sign oh this is not touch screen i'm so used to touch screen that i tapped on it Okay, so now sign in. What? Incorrect again? No, please. Don't do that to me. Oh, my caps lock was turned on on the keyboard. So, oh. Uh, I think my face is not focused. Yeah. Okay, so my face is focused now. Okay, I, I deactivated my caps lock. And typing in my password again. And type my sign in. Yes, I am in. So it's refreshing the app page. All right from the beginning again. Let's see uh, if it remembers what I bought. Optimized for Mac with M1. Okay, family tree, Lightroom. Great for iPhone and iPad. No. Essential Safari extensions. Yep, I need this uh, later on. I will now do top three apps. Top. Where's my app? I want my app. Okay, doesn't show my app, does it? Hmm, maybe I type on my name. You have five apps to adopt. Yeah, I think they're all there. Mac apps purchased. Yes, I see I purchased so many apps. Okay, now, I just want Final Cut Pro for today. Even DaVinci Resolve. So Final Cut Pro, where are you? There you are. You see how many apps that I bought? for Apple, for my Mac, for my previous MacBook Pro. So now I'm going to tap on, click on Final Cut Pro. Okay, let's bring you closer now. Tell me if I should add this, edit this video to a short version. want to document the unboxing process okay tap on the cloud download is it downloading or should I no okay it is all right see the the stop button here it's downloading well wow, it's quite a big file it's quite a big file so give it some time oh, maybe I, I changed angle the zoom lens. Yes. Alright, so let it let it load. Okay, this is a live this is a live stream. And uh, right now if you can see the title, I am unboxing my new MacBook Air with the M1 chip. Okay, it's new for me but this model isn't new it's released like almost a year ago about 10 months it's a 20 it's a 2020 model early 2020 model okay what is loading let's let's check what what it calls itself okay uh let's see let's go into this about this mac so it calls itself the M1 2020 model, right? And 
it's cheap is the Apple M1 and the memory is 8 gigabytes <clears throat> and that's my serial number all right I'll close this it's uploading so right now before this before this I was doing the unboxing and setting up so right now I'm uh, reinstalling my Final Cut Pro okay I've already bought Final Cut Pro since I had my uh, MacBook Pro in 2013 the MacBook Pro is dead therefore I bought this MacBook Air 2013 how long ago was that seven years eight years ago so macbook pro i maxed out my book pro i ordered extra ram extra hard disk no it wasn't hard disk. it's ssd and maxed it out spent about three thousand over dollars close to four thousand dollars for that macbook pro but this time i did not max out the macbook air because i know some tricks to go around it Okay, I don't need maxed out uh, SSD storage space. SSD right now in this MacBook Air is uh, 256 GB gigabytes. And I know I've been advising people not to get such low gigabytes, but we can work around it by attaching a external hard drive. Because no matter how many videos you do, it will never be enough. So a good practice is to have an external SSD drive, all right, USB version. Eight gigabytes. I also never recommend eight gigabytes RAM. So this is a test, actually. I need something lightweight, something cheap, something that my heart would not ache if it breaks down. Okay, and something easy to sell. So I don't mind it being slow just to get my work done because I don't do for clients anymore. I am a ind uh, independent content creator and a trainer. So there's no need for me to have a high specs system. And streaming, okay, that's the other test. Is it good enough for streaming? I don't know yet. I'm gonna test it out. And yeah. Oh, uh, let me reply while it's loading. Let me reply. Let me reply to. You know what? I don't want to waste your time. Okay. Okay, it's it's very straightforward. Okay, I'm installing Final Cut Pro now. When it installs, it runs. Because in the next stream, I'll be using Final Cut Pro to edit my videos. All right, one of the video that I want to edit is this very video, the unboxing to shorten it. All right, so I've been live for 45 minutes. If you've been watching until now, thanks for watching. Share this video, follow, subscribe if you're on YouTube, follow me on Facebook, follow me on Twitch, uh, under the same name, Adrian Video Image. If you have any comments to share with me, uh, especially on MacBook Air, something that I need to know, yeah, leave them in the comments. If you have any questions you'd like me to test on the MacBook, MacBook Air M1, okay, leave in the comments as well. Uh, next month is October, and I understand uh, some new, yeah, come on, some new Mac books will be released in October. Let's look out for it. Um, yeah. Other than that, this is Adrian Lee. Thank you for watching. This is Adrian Lee from Adrian Video Image. See you in the next one. Let me do this first. This is Adrian Lee from
Adrian video image and you have been watching my unboxing of the MacBook Air M1 all right oh I left out the subscribe message okay see you